Dartmouth Rapids, Yakagini River, Ohio State Park, 2023. 3.01 p.m. February 11th, Saturday. Got a couple of hours of uh, sunlight left. I think that the uh, trail from here on up has been uh, so overgrown and the park hasn't wished to keep it up. So therefore you have to do a lot of ducking underneath a fallen tree and there's a lot of rhododendron to block your getting back up there. I think they probably don't want people to use that trail very much, but I have filmed people coming down this way. If the trail is this overgrown, then that kind of means that this is not the trail. Usually the trail will be challenging, but not completely overgrown. Yeah, this looks like the trail right here. It's not much of a trail, but you can see that it's, you can see for about 50 feet, and then that'll get you up to the other boulders and the slots you can get out. <coughs> So, let's try to remember this. Yeah, this is clearly the trail. All right, so this is the trail up and down from Ferncliff down to Dartmouth Rapids. And if you do go down river, try to go at least as far as the uh, big white pine there, which is sticking over the river, because right in that area, there's just a series of spectacular boulders. If you like to see sculpted, river, uh, river sculpted boulders, one or two little potholes. 
other slots. The rock ear. And near the rock ear I left a couple of hiking sticks, which I took home and polyurethaned. Those are also hiking sticks that I gathered here in the park and they were uh, very likely washed downstream by the uh, beavers, uh, sorry, by the river and chopped down by beavers years, years or months ago. Beaver cut walking sticks make the best. The one I'm holding in my hand is actually a beaver cut hearth. I think it's a beaver cut, maybe not. It's a good one though. Why I like to hike in the winter is when you go through the brush like this, you do not have to worry about your ticks. I'll check myself when I get home today and report if I got any, but I don't believe I did. All these downed trees up here are what caused uh, this path to really become a disused path down to the Dartmouth Rapids. And we're on the Fern Cliff Peninsula side of the Okegany River. There's some blue dots, which means something or other. It means that somebody got down here, maybe a park person. Since I never have gone up or down here, this is gonna be a little research time right now. Whether I have to go more up river or go that way or go that way. I got three choices pretty much. I like the left choice first because as soon as I get up to those trees right there, I'm in home free. So this kind of looks steep, but quickest to get up there. And I guess before all these trees fell down here, you just come up here, slide through there, keep going through there. I remember that that's kind of the right way, but maybe it's only because you go around this big boulder here and I might be finding myself climbing down there to make a left around this boulder here. This might lead to a big drop off. We'll see.
Yeah, the rhododendron took over that sloped area. Otherwise, you just climbed right to there, go this way. Maybe that is the way down. The modern way might have been to uh, scoot through the rhododendron that way and not come straight up like I just did. And we just got drop-offs here. Pretty sure ticks would be all in this so when you go climbing over logs like this on your butt be sure to check for ticks when you get home if I have to go through the uh, rhododendron or if I have to